Hi guys, Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry with another tutorial. I know a lot of you wait for the Tuesdays and I'm excited to share this idea today. It's, um, it's very simple, it looks complicated. You will use a herringbone stitch inside and some just a random wrapping. I made three to show you that that's the same concept just that when you tweak them a little bit different they each time will be different and unique also i use a torch for those who are scared to use torch i, I always receive uh questions about torch always it's like even yesterday and today but um for those who don't want to use torch i also made one without it so this one number four was just uh, hammering I hammer all the ends, it's like one, two, three, four, and also the top. So let's get started. Let's see what we need for them. We need uh, some gems and a wire, of course. Okay, let's get started. So you need some gemstones. You can you can use different size because you can decide how long this could be for you. And the only thing is that when you pick uh, gems for them for this project, they have to be drilled that way, not like this way. So the wire should go all the way through because we want to make a herringbone stitch with with the middle bead. And I think I will use this bead today. It's pretty nicely drilled, so it can go on my wire, or I can use actually a turquoise, because I also have turquoise one, also nicely drilled. It's a half light, but it's colored, just turquoise color. So I can use, maybe I will use this one. Okay, and uh, for the frame, before you use your torch, let's see, uh, wire, you can use any thick wire you like. You can use combination of thicker and thinner. I think it will add to the texture, but in all four of them, I use the same thick wire. So um, the thickest possible you can work with, uh, not 12, of course, but something uh, more thicker, like from maybe 18, um 16 you can try um something like that and before i use torch because i will use a uh, torch for this one it measure three inches long here i prepared those that i will be using so two of them i use torch from both sides and two only on one end and I leave this to make it something like this so we can put jump ring inside and it will be for your chains you know, to continue the necklace after the torch let's see how they shrink so it will be a little bit more than two and a half inch and the one with the half like only one it will be two and you know almost three so that's for the for those who want to do um hammer the ends so you can just measure smaller you don't have to go with a lot larger and then because you don't need to use the torch right and i will use uh, 24 gauge wire for weaving so here is my 24 gauge and um, let me just take a piece and we can start it. I will start with the one that has open here and I will make about four reps. One, two, three, four. Before I introduce second wire. This is my second wire. I like to go and leave the end Mm, a little bit more than a half inch because that will be a room for your 
ending here. Now we have another wire. Let's put another wire there. I will use my favorite weave that I always do on all my pieces. So it's two together between and I hug one wire, go all the way down, hug the other one and then two together. One, the bottom one and two together. And we continue that for a little bit. Remember, always squeeze your weaving together so it will not have a space, unless you like spaces. I don't like spaces, so I like to squeeze them close. It's harder to weave, weave with 24 gauge, but it's easier for me because it go faster. You can use 26, it will look even better effect but all of those were, I used 24. All the pieces that I made today, I used 24 gauge. Okay, let's quickly do a little bit. Also depends what stone you use. You can uh, leave less bottom and more woven here but I will explain as we go so let's make a few more stitches here If you like, you can calculate how many you have. I think I will leave like this. Because I have put a long stone here, so as a reference, you wanna just see approximately something like that so you will know that you can curve it and it will be nice so let's see how if you measure that woven part is just three-fourth of an inch and let's me do the same one with the other wires and I will come back okay now we have two and then we want to join them together I would leave one side here and just cross these two just cross it and then the wire you have on one side try to make few wraps one two three four you can also use your pliers to nicely push them to guide them, squeeze them together. Okay. And now you are closer to the other wire. So we can just start to join them together because we will continue to on those so let's do the same view join two together and then one two and together one two and together use your pliers to Push the wires. One, two. You can use any view you like. If you like anything else, you can use different view. You can use uh, three and one together. You know, all kinds of views you can use. That's that's just my favorite, so I use all the time. And um, but 
any view in this case will work. So I use it. Let me just a few more because we want to leave these ends a little bit. You can see this is left open and here is the other one inside is even longer that is not woven. Try to do them close to each other or use your pliers. This is 24, it's harder to view. Okay, and I think I will stop now. So one, two, three, four, and cut your wire. Now tuck your wire nicely. So you will not go back, you just know that this is for sure perfect. And then you continue on the other side the same way. So we have, looks like a big mess, but then when we actually finish, will be nice. So now we have the other part. It need to be maybe tweaked a little bit. So we, we need to continue on those two. We have your wire from from that side, so make like a few wraps until you go closer to the other wire and the same way. One, two, two together and keep going. One, two, two together. One, two and two together so let me just finish and i will be right back so that's what you will have so far you will have wrapped two ends here and both of them here so we will cut these little ends on the top because we left them now it's time to remove so here we have one and the other side So um, when I did this morning those other, all four of them, I didn't rush. So mine was perfectly same side. Now when I rush it, it looks a little bit um, more organic, I guess. But it's if you have the same thing, it's not a problem at all. It will end up beautiful. Um, so now what we have, we have this shape. And I would take a plier, let me take these, and just twist here. So you will have that little twist here, and the same here. So we're twisting inwards, because I want to make the shape sort of like a flower looking. So we twist, that's what we have. Now it will be time to put our metal bead. Just don't rush, you know, go slow because I'm, I'm trying too fast. But so now we, I will use this bead and uh, the length of the wire, I will measure it. I know it's pretty long. We, we might not need all of it. Uh, it's 22 inches long. It's pretty long, but it's better to have longer than, than if I just had this piece, so I will use it. And also we use 24 gauge for a herringbone stitch. You guys know how to do it. Very simple and quick. You just anchor your wire in on the wire, um, wrap like maybe twice, remove the little excess, make sure it's not sharp, 
stock up nicely. Yeah, okay. And you can use as many as you want uh, wraps. So I will do, I will do several. I don't want to do a lot, but let's see how much I want it. So we have one, one. I will go behind, maybe two, 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 three, 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 maybe four. Let's do four. Let's put a bit. It's a large bead. You can you can do more if you wanted to. I did some of them I did like for the small one. You can tell I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight even reps around. Okay, four. And you can end it wherever if you started from here you can. You can go all the to the top. I just decided I will go to the top and then finish here. Okay, cut the wire. Don't need that. Now, before you tuck it, you go all the way with your, maybe just a little, a little bit for the, because when we decorate the piece, you wanna, with the thicker wire, have some room to use. So leave just a little bit. Now it's time to tuck that wire. Because when you tuck it, and then it will be harder for you to push the bead all the way down basically so now we we have our bead i will use that thick wire i'll put through the hole here where we have okay should go yeah it's a lot of room so go with my bead make sure you're facing the right way and um, because it's so thick wire you just tie it around the bead first around the, like this and I will go right after that I will make a first swirl, sort of like a little organic, organic um, weave like this. And now it's time to play around with those, with design a little bit. So you, I usually anchor to the, uh, there's two of them. So I will anchor with the first one, the close to the bead. I will just make nice, wrap then go back here Oops. and just do it around the bead so now we have another side sorry my pliers on my way um we'll also do these a little bit this okay so I'm go all the way up again to the one that is close to my bead i will just wrap if it's hard for you you can pre-anneal your wire just use your heat um so i anchor there and then i go all the way up again i made i like to sort of look like they uh, together meet and then from that I will swirl again and put it inside inside here because we wanted to stabilize the bead we want the bead to be stable so now we have we have this you can come around your piece 
and that's what I put the last one again you can imitate your first one make it more organic looking and I will finish it right here you can cut and tuck it nicely slowly don't ruin your wires just nice nice curl okay now when you're done with all your weaving it will be time when you decide your, on your lines you know because that's the basic how we did but then i play i just make it more like um, looking like a vine sort of you know so you also take your pliers take your time and decide where you want to tweak how you want them to be you know um if you want more here less here uh you can use your hammer and hammer sorry <laughs> and hammer a little bit um also these little bubbles you can put them close to the front press so yes just uh, play with your wires make it looks like make it look like you wanted your piece to look And when you're happy with your shape, with how the, they line, you just use your rubber mallet and just hammer slightly. Now, but we, ha we have to do something with the top. Uh, you can, when you assemble this piece, you can make it so those these wires will be inside. Because some of them, like see this piece, I also did the same way because we have with the torch, I put it just behind the piece and curl. Same with this one, but I know I had the one that I put, yes, this one. This one, see, I use the torch one from that side and not torched was inside. So that depends how you wanna finish. I did variety, so you can guys see how I did it and you can choose which one you wanna. If you wanna use the one without torch, make a curl, and then the one with the torch just uh, pointing this way, a little bit gentle curl. Um, you can do, you can, you can put the swirl and then the wire from the top curve. Or you can curve this way, all the way down. You know, that's, that's, that's all the little details that you can decide how you want them to be. Uh, the, mo the important thing is that they should be equal and I think this one is a little bit longer so I will cut what I will do probably I will put them on one side for now these ones and I will curve start curving cut a little piece there and go back Same here, start it, then I cut, I cut a little piece and, um, and go all the way down now. Hammer it so it will add stability to your piece and with these I might also go up, so just like this. all the way up important thing is when you're happy with your shape you can you can leave them like this you can tweak them all the way and play with your shape how you want it because right now you can do anything you want you can you can play you can you can play how you want this to be or the bottom also but when you lock later when you when you hammer it then it will be so stiff, impossible to, I mean, possible, but it's very <laughs> difficult to move. So any, any adjustment to your piece that you want it, do it before you actually use your um, hammer, a rubber mallet, right? 
that's all I want to share with you today, guys. It looks not really attractive, but when you put it in the liver of sulfur and then completely clean it, because these still need a lot of work to, to do, they still need to uh, nicely polish them and then use it my Protecta Clear. But they look so beautiful when they finished. I hope you guys like this project. I know it's a little bit more complicated. It's not really. It's like when you see the steps one by one, it's just need a little bit of time. But I did these very quick in the morning, all four of them. So I'm pretty sure everybody can achieve that. Any question, if you're stuck with anything, just text me. Uh, I mean, leave the comments below and I will answer. I always do, maybe not the same day, but I try to. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.